Okay, Ron, one more time. This is uh, 8.1, Creating 3D Wireframe Lab. On three, two, one. Well, now we're going to introduce you to 3D wireframe work, and we're going to do this using a, uh, a drawing so you can see the relationship of using what you've already learned in 2D and applying it to 3D, even though we're only going to use wireframe, okay? So let's go ahead, go up to the Word file. Let's create a brand new drawing. Now, from scratch, we want to choose metric. Now, this example will be mechanical. Even though you may not be a, a mechanical person, you might be architectural, you might be civil or mapping, I encourage you to go through this because there's some basics that, you, that we're going to be applying into some other areas as well. Uh, but there are going to be some more examples of working with wireframe for architectural. So this will be following this particular lab here. Go ahead and do an OK. And the very first thing we want to do is we want to rotate our window to an isometric. So go to View, 3D Viewport and Southwest Isometric. And again, you can see the UCS icon rotated uh, in this direction. Now, let's take advantage of what we already know works. So we're going to go to a two-dimensional rectangular command. And uh, let's just click anywhere you want. Just touch the left mouse button, and this is our corner. We're going to make this the lower left-hand corner of this particular shape that we're going to create. Now what I want you to do is to type in uh, the distances. So go ahead and type in an at. 90 comma 40 and do an enter it's somewhat small but if you if you uh, do a zoom all you'll see that you've actually created this rectangular shape let's go over to your line command and first thing I want you to do here is to hold the shift key down touch the right mouse button remember we can set our permanent running O snap to make it much easier for us so we're going to make the endpoint our running O snap do an OK, and now we're ready to begin. All right, when it says from point, move your cursor right to this end point, and you'll see the purple highlight. Click it one time, and then move your cursor away. You remember Mike's left-hand rule of thumb, that if you extend your, your arm out and you're looking at your hand, if you rotate your hand to where the left thumb is pointing in the X direction and the first finger is pointing towards the Y, you are now uh, basically uh, looking at your 3D axis because your arm will be the positive Z. We want to go straight up from this point, and if you rotate your hand in that fashion, your arm, if you were to rotate it in, in such a fashion to where your arm would also be coming straight up, you notice that your arm is always going to be positive Z, so we have to type in a positive Z value. Go ahead and type in an at 0, 0, and type in 10 for 10 millimeters. Do an enter, and if you move your cursor, you note that we were able to draw this, again, 10 millimeters from the uh, point that we were at before. Reset, and hit the right mouse button to end. Now let's go back to the rectangle uh, command. We're going to start from this end point, and now what we're going to do is we're going to type in an at and along the X, we want 40, comma, 30. Do an Enter. All right, so now we've created this particular part. And the first thing I want you to see is that sometimes with a rotation angle, you don't really get to see all the lines because they might be coincidental from the view. So let's introduce you to another command to help us position the screen. Come up to the word View and come up to 3D Dynamic View. It's going to ask you to select some objects. So if we select just these two planes, it's probably good enough. Touch the right mouse button. And now if you just click anywhere you want, note how you're able to rotate this. That way you can see the two rectangular shapes that we created. All right. All you got to do is rotate it the way you want it. Click it one time and then cancel with the right mouse button. And we just rotated, so now you're able to see the, uh, the additional line there. So this is our first part of our lab.